Hi guys, it's Tom from TrainSim TV. I'm bringing you a short tutorial on how to change your background on your Train Simulator 2019. Um, you will have seen this on the last stream um, I did, um, but it was, it was a brief overlook at this. But I'm going to give you a, a demonstration on how you need to set this up. Um, it, it's very simple. It takes a few minutes. So, as you can see. Um, on the background at the moment we have our new custom background wallpaper now these have to be a specific size and a specific file type um, the file type is JPEG and they have to be 1920 by 1080 um, now to get this to fully work on your game you need to head over to Vulcan Productions so I'm going to drag the web page over for you now so we go to Vulcan Productions at the top you have third party content click on content by syncs at the time obviously this is uh, the only person's third party software Vulcan host at the moment um, you then need to head over to applications and utilities and as you can see there's a couple of um, examples also here um, have been made so you've got one of the um, upcoming BPs Manchester to Leeds route, and I think there's one on the East Coast main line. I would have thought the uh, Grand Central 180. So all you need to do is click download. I'll demonstrate, obviously, and then click download again, and it will download the file. You need to make sure you've got Java installed before you do this, otherwise it won't allow you to actually run the program. So I'm going to open this. And I'm going to close the web page down. I'm going to shut the game down. So, we need to, once Java is installed, you will open the shroud up and then double click TS Background Changer. And then you'll see um, the TS Fum Changer.jar. Now, I've already got this on the desktop, so I'm just going to drag it over onto the other web, onto, off the other screen. So you can see. So, I'm going to close this down in a moment. Actually, I'll open the readme first and I'll shut that down. So, just get this onto one side of my screen. So, as you can see, I'm going to open this program and it'll bring a little box up. So, at the moment, when you open this readme, there's a section in red. Um, this, at the moment, hasn't been implemented, so just ignore this. So, first open the tsfumchanger.exe. This is meant to be jar. Um, I think there's a typo in there, um, but it's the same thing that I've just opened up. So it's a, it's a jar file, um, which is in with the readme. <coughs> Excuse me, still got the cough. Um, we want to scroll down um, to the bit where it starts at changing the background from a random screenshot um, from a folder of your choice. So the first thing you do, wherever you want to have a folder. Make a new folder and name it whatever you want for the path. So I, I name mine TS Backgrounds. Um, once you find it, uh, once you've done it, sorry, you need to go and then find the actual folder. So you'll click Select, and then you'll you'll go and navigate it. So mine is in Storage and it's there. So once you've opened that, you just click Open. Now it won't actually show it until you click Refresh the path, and now it's there. Um, your next you need to do is find your game. So mine is here, uh, it's in system, obviously it's the maps, common, and you just need to click rail work, just go no further than that, and then refresh your path again, and it will show it. Now, I'm just going to grab the folder, in a second, wherever it is, uh, it's obviously storage, and it's there. So, you can see at the minute I've got two images, and they are exactly the same, it's only because I don't want it to randomise through different ones, obviously we're doing some TV. Um, I put two in here. I don't know if you need two or not, but just to be safe, I put two different ones in just so in case it it, it doesn't work. It thinks it wants to randomise still to another one, so it'll just randomise back to the same picture. So you need to name them number one, two, three, however many you want. And uh, as you can see on the actual readme, there's uh, seven different images with the numbers underneath. Um, again. All files in this folder must be in JPEG format and 1920 by 1080. 
if they're any bigger, they, they will, I would have thought, come up, but they're not going to be scale correct. They're going to be too big or too small, whatever size. So you need to obviously make sure. Um, there is an actual sizer of a, a link to take to the sizing program so you can resize your images. And that is underneath. Um, so once you've got however many images you want, numbered correctly in the right format, in the right size, add them into this and then your path will find them and your game will find them. So all you do is once they're in, everything's done, click the menu background to change and it will say the background successfully changed, you now may launch TrainSim. And that is all you have to do. So obviously you've seen mine work, so I'm not going to load the game up once again because it's not going to do anything different. But once you get that message, once you've loaded the game, it should work if you've uh, followed this um, readme in the right order. As I say, currently the red section has not been implemented, so we'll skip this bit for now. Um, again, what do you need to run this? You need um, Dovetail Games is a train simulator, which is available on Steam. You need Java. There is a link for Java also. Um, it's highly recommended you run it on a Windows system as it's not been tested on Mac or Linux. Um, and how does it work? So basically, the program selects the random image from the directory provided. It is then copied into the Steam Common Melworks Data Textures uh, folder directory where all the um, imagery goes into for the game, like such as the splash screens and that. So it'll uh, change it for you instead of having to do it manually. Um, the original pa uh, background picture as well as the background .jpg md5 file is deleted. So the original one where you had the Voyager, I think it was the Voyager, whatever version of uh, you, you're running at, um, that goes now. So future plans. The ability to add one single image in a whole folder. So hopefully you don't have to have loads if you don't want loads. So that will be helpful for me. Um, Add a much nicer, oh sorry, add a much nicer looking GUI, so a better user interface, um, and add a feature to change the splash screen, um, so that the splash screen is when you're loading into a route, so there's plans to hopefully change that as well. Um, there's some special thanks on there as well, um, to the people on Stack Overflow who provided the help to make the program. Um, also thanks to Mark Walker of Vulcan Productions who offered to put the program on the VP set and after mentioned it on the train some TV discord yeah um, it was on there and I'm, I'm quite glad to see it so it's aided me a lot because I'm useless at editing files I'm not gonna uh, lie so once again Vulcan Productions third-party content uh, into syncs section and it's in the application utilities download and then just follow the readme it's simple it takes no more than five minutes so uh, thank you very much for watching the brief tutorial on this um, you can catch the usual streams on Twitch by heading over to twitch.tv forward slash trainsimtv underscore tom and the same again at forward slash trainsimtv underscore mark. Um, please, please do give us a subscribe and uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. See you later guys, thank you.